to allow tropical moisture to track into our region through tomorrow morning at five o'clock. So as you can see, that disturbance is just south of us. We start out under clear skies, then by lunchtime, I'd say after lunchtime, you'll notice that the clouds will be on the increase. Then by four o'clock in the morning, most of that moisture does track from the south to the north. And at this point, it does look like it is impacting our far eastern counties and out west around Dimming, Silver City, where this model does show a mix of rain and snow. It does look like the system will clear out by three o'clock and then by the nine o'clock hour, I think we will be dry. We advance into Sunday, although we're clearing out, the clouds increase yet again and then we once again see most of that rain track from the south work its way north. Now our snowfall model does indicate that maybe we could see some light flurries here in El Paso, some dusting and in the Las Cruces area. So that is something that we will be watching through tomorrow morning. Then on Sunday, I think the winds will be on the increase as well. Around lunchtime, we're tracking wind gust close to 30 for El Paso, Las Cruces. That will be through the three o'clock hour. So our rain chances for Saturday and Sunday sit at 30%. But again, I think tonight into tomorrow morning will be the best chance on Saturday. We'll climb to the 60s. Sunday, we'll have another round of showers, so definitely want to hold off on the car wash this weekend. Las Cruces Saturday, 62, 20% chance for, again, some dusting that rain snow mix, and then by Sunday, 58 will be the high with a 30% chance for rain. We'll be in the 50s today, still running below average for this time of year. We're partly cloudy around the area of mountains. It will be cold, 40s for Ruidoso, 30s, Cloudcroft. Cloudcroft tonight,